the great physicist put it beautifully. He said, matter tells space time how to curve and space time tells matter how to move. <laughs> and that's it, right? So that's Einstein's theory. So in 1916, shortly after it was published, a man called Carl Schwarzschild remarkably managed to solve the equations uh, for a perfectly spherical, non-spinning ball of matter. It's the simplest thing you could do, which tells you how space and time are distorted by it. And that's a model for a star. It's the simplest thing you could do. So he, he solved the equations. It's a remarkable thing. In those equations, there is a description of a black hole, although it wasn't realized at the time. It's a remarkable piece, simple piece of mathematics, actually. Um, so essentially, what's the idea behind a black hole? One way to think about it is that you could remove, could you remove the star from, from this fabric, but leave the distortion behind? So uh, if, if, you, if you do that, you get the description of a black hole. But you might say, what, what do you mean? That How can that be formed in nature? So you think about what a star is. Then a star is a balancing act. So it's a, it's a mainly hydrogen and helium collapsing under its own gravity. That's how our sun formed four and a half billion years ago. 